Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall, and in today's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a variable to a catalog item in the system. Before we get started, let me explain what a variable is. A variable is a field which is used to capture information on a catalog item which is used to help end users further define their request. That way, fulfillers can better understand requests. For example, Maybe you have a catalog item for requesting a laptop. You could include variables for the operating system, the RAM, the screen size, and so on. By adding variables to catalog items, back and forth communication is reduced during the request process because the request is already clearly defined. In today's tutorial, we're going to add a variable to an existing laptop catalog item that allows users to select the amount of memory they would like with their laptop. To get started, open up ServiceNow and in the application navigator, type in Maintain Items and click on the Maintain Items module located underneath the Service Catalog application. You'll now be navigated to the Maintain Items module, which includes all of the catalog items in the system. Click on the standard laptop catalog item. This is the catalog item we're going to be adding the memory variable to. You'll now be navigated to the form view for the catalog item. Scroll down to the bottom of the catalog item and you can see that there is a variables related list. From here, you can see all the variables that have been added to this catalog item. From the list view, you can see the variable type, the question, and the order for each variable. To create a new variable, click on the New button. You'll now be taken to a blank variable form. In the first field, Type, I'm going to select the Select Box option, since we'd like our users to be able to select an option from a drop-down. In the next field, Order, I'm going to enter 200. This will ensure that the variable is displayed at the very bottom of the catalog item form. Then to the right of the form, I'm going to check the mandatory field. This will enable the variable to be mandatory, so all users have to select an option. Next, in the question field, I'm going to enter memory in brackets RAM. Now right click on the form header and click save. Now that the form has been reloaded, you can now see that there is a question choices section on the form where you can add question choices. To add choices, double click on the insert a new row field and type in 16 GB into the text and value fields. Then in the next row, type in 32 GB into the text and value fields and then 200 in the order field. This will ensure that the 32 GB option is displayed below the 16 GB option. Now click on the Update button. Now that we've added the variable to the catalog item, let's see it in action. To do this, click on the Try It button and we'll be able to preview the catalog item. And as you can see, we now have a memory RAM variable on the form, and we can select whether we'd like 16 GB or 32 GB. And it's as simple as that. Adding a variable to a catalog item is a fairly simple task and provides great value to your end users when they're making requests. If you like this video, click on the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe.